Sri Lanka has the highest reported youth liter literacy rate in South Asia at 98.77%, and it is recognized by the UN as achieving high human development. Therefore, education is a very important factor in Sri Lankan lifestyle. Sri Lankan education structure begins with the Montessori, where students, uh, kids enrolled at the age of three, and they study mostly arts and crafts and basic subjects like math, science, and English. Sri Lankan education uh, school system has two types of schools, government schools and private schools. Uh, if you have enrolled in a government school, everything is free, including textbooks. And in private school, you have to pay. And private schools have a lot of diversity of students from different countries. Mm, the education structure is divided into five parts as primary, junior, secondary, second, senior, secondary, collegiate, and tertiary. And when enrolling, you can select either Sinhala medium, English medium, or Tamil medium, which means if you selected Sinhala medium, every subject will be taught in Sinhala. If you uh, select English medium, everything will be taught in English, and in Tamil medium, everything will be taught in Tamil. Uh, primary education lasts for five years and secondary for six years and advanced level for three years. Uh, it should be noted that during the advanced level, you only have to select one field which consists of three subjects. The main fields are the math, science, commerce, arts or technology. You can select either one of these, uh, write the exam which is called GCE A-level examination and get free, uh, free scholarship to enroll in the university. However, you, if you haven't passed the ordinary level examination, you cannot write the GC A level examination. Uh, primary education also consists of basic subjects, and the secondary education too have these subjects, but there are uh, additional subjects such as social studies, geography, and aesthetic subjects. Uh, the school culture is very, very different from other countries uh, when compared to America, for example, and as Edward Hall pointed out, individualism forced people to pursue their personal goals. Thus, uh, Lankan students always have competition with each other in education. Uh, the low uncertainty avoidance is also a factor which contributes to this. And being in a uh, collectivist culture with high power distance, there are cultural traits in school as well. For example, discipline is the main factor and Students are supposed to wear a uniform with black shoes only, and the uniform, they always uh, carry a badge uh, of the school, which means, which is very much respected and uh, taken care of anyone. And saving the respect of your school is very important. Even if you have left the school, you are all still representing your school. Uh, this is a feature of a high context culture where behavior is more important than anything. Therefore, high discipline is observed. And uh, poly, uh, we have a cultural thing in some schools called the big match, big match culture, which means uh, a cricket match that happens as a tradition for hundreds of years. Uh, and it is also a polychronic behavior in this culture because students are always supposed to engage in some kind of sports and. Uh, if you are a cr school cricket captain, that can bring you a lot of fame and even get you a job uh, when you get out of school. Uh, according to the uh, Tromperanos model, universalism can be seen where rules are observed more than the relationship. That means every time, uh, no matter who what who you are, all, all the time, the rules of the school are observed no matter what you do. Uh, this is a main cultural trait of the Sri Lankan education system. Thank you.